So, that was something. I'm gonna spitball here because I've had a bad day and it was just a rough school day and the Warriors did not help it early on in the morning when I watched this game. As I was really actually excited, you know, Draymond back. We had, a, you know, what was it, like three or four days off and we were fighting for the in-season tournament spot and, you know, we could get our season back, back on track as we were finally healthy, which did not last long, right, as Chris Paul left with some type of injury that I don't even know what it what what, what it is. Gary Payton had to be uh, with an ankle injury also. Uh, so <laughs> injury-wise, it was even worse. Even worse. It was as bad as the game. And uh, I, I don't know what, what what's going to happen with Chris Paul. He was limping. Hopefully it's not that serious. Uh, GP2 ankle injury he's just had a durability issues unfortunately which is uh, just just makes me sad uh, really right and we had uh when we look at the game we had uh what what was it we we were actually playing great right we had one of the best first halves of the season really as when we when we when we look at it uh, when we look at it uh, when we look at it when we look at at the first half, we shot 12 of 25 from the three-point line, which still overlying on the three-pointers, but we were actually mixing it up fairly well. We got to the free throw line well. We were out-rebounding the Kings by 11, except the turnovers, which the ends of the quarters were just goddamn woeful most of the time, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, yeah, the end of this quarter was really rough as we went 72-48 after a Wiggins three-pointer. And then we gave up two, one three and two layups, missed some good shots. Not, well, not really good shots, but had some dumb turnovers and a travel turnover by Draymond. And we came into the second half with a 16, 16, oh, right, buddy. 16 second violation, I mean 16, 8 second violation. As you can see, I'm still clearly a little off and rusty, but I want to talk about the game. Because, well, it's therapy for me a bit. And, you know, everything was looking great in the first half, right? It was feeling like we were going to even qualify for the tournament as the T-Wolves won by three and we needed just, well, just we needed to win by, what was it, 12? I'm pretty sure. And we were up by over 20 points at the end of the second quarter, essentially. And then we blew it at the end of the second quarter to make it a 17-point game. And... Then in the second half, with more more of those injuries, uh, it became even worse, right? Clay started playing very badly in that second half to me. And um, Luna did not take a shot at and really. Dario wasn't essentially... I don't even remember seeing Dario in the second half, really, when I think about it. Corey Joseph was actually really solid, so that was a pleasant surprise. With Chris Paul, of course, missing. Kuminga barely played, which uh, made sense, as Steve Kerr talked about us having the rotation shortened with Raymond back to about 10 players. And in the fourth quarter, it was Moses Moody, man. 11 points, 3 of 3. He also had two three-pointers uh, disallowed after uh, moving screens, which was just rough. And yeah, Steph and Wiggins did not shoot the ball well in the fourth quarter. We shot 6 of 21 overall. And Moses Moody got subbed out for Wiggins, which made sense as he was our best player in the uh, in the game and he had seven rebounds in the fourth quarter. So he still did his job, even though he did not uh, make a shot really, except for one. And a lot of people were saying that he should have stayed in for Clay. I saw Justin, one of the better uh, Warriors content uh, people on Twitter, said for Looney, which I kind of agree with. Why did we not go small when the Kings were having uh, Sasha Vezenkov playing the full fourth quarter out there and Sabonis was essentially once again a non-factor? Uh, it was just weird. And, you know, we made just five three-pointers in the second half. Got to the line really well, which was cool to see, but we still let the Kings get to there more, even though the Aaron Fox actually missed a whole bunch of free throws, which was very uncharacteristic. He shot just 9 of 17 from the free throw line, which is kind of crazy. So bonus was really bad once again against us. He's just not been able to put it together. Kevin Herder was their lifeline early on, and he had a really great game, which has not been the case most of the time against us. 21-9-5. And, and even without Keegan Murray, and of course Malik Monk with the game been relayed, which was just 
What, what, what happened at the end of the fourth quarter was just inexcusable and crazy. I get we were trying to go for, uh, you know, we were trying to still find a way to win the group, which at here we were up five, so we needed essentially three three-pointers or two three-pointers make it to be up by 17. We had a bad offensive foul. We had a Miss Loon, Miss Looney Dunk, aka Dunk, that was blocked after a great pass from Steph. Steph missed a, you know, unfortunate three ball that was in and out. Uh, Draymond missed the layup. Looney missed both free throws. And we were, just, to me, some of these shots were just shots that we were trying to still win the group instead of just winning the game. Draymond shot this uh, three ball with 15 seconds left. He has been shooting it better and he looked great shooting it today, but... Uh, still, 15 seconds on the clock or something like that. There was more than enough time, time, enough time on the clock to get a better look and Draymond went for it. Uh, of course, we made, uh, made, the, made the layup after, after that, but still. To me, it did not make much sense and then the turnovers. Right, Steph passed it to essentially Malik Monk on a really stupid in, uh, inbound pass as we had no timeout. And Draymond miscommunicated with Clay. Malik Monk hits an insane fadeaway. We had no timeout with seven seconds left, and Steph just has to pull up from 37 as his handle was on a tight. It was one of the weirdest games I've ever watched, and I watched it in a rush. Watched it. I watched it in a rush because I wanted to, you know, I had to get to school. And it was nasty. It was a nasty loss. Not only did we crash out of the tournament, which hey, that was kind of expected in a way, but after having a 24 point lead or something like that, it's kind of disappointing. And we even lost the game, which now we are now 8 and 10, which is just crazy. It is crazy, man. It's fucking disgusting in a way. So the positives is Moody looked great and should be playing more than goddamn 30 minutes. Kuminga essentially out of the rotation now. Uh, GP2, well, he will be back essentially probably because GP2 got hurt. So we, who knows what's going to be with that. Chris Paul hurt after he has been actually playing really well, which is rough. And the starters continue to just look kind of bad. Wiggins was great. Wiggins had his best game probably of the season. I know he had a 33 point game, but this was his most complete game. And I just loved the way he looked on the court and defensively. Draymond had a good shooting game in a way because the shot looks great, but overall had a bad game. He had four turnovers. A lot of them were a little bad. And Looney, yeah, Looney had a really bad night. And it should have been Moody closing it out instead of Looney. That's for sure. Not instead of Clay. Even though I did not like the way Clay played in the second half, which was not great, it still would have made sense to go small against these uh, Kings who rode with Sasha Vazenkov, who was really great in the fourth quarter, right? And... Kerr just did not ride with Moses Moody in that fourth quarter, unfortunately, which it is what it is. He is riding with his veterans and it might be his biggest weakness in the end. And that's it. Yeah, this was a little off, uh, off filter. I don't know how to say it, man. It was a little, little all over the place, I know. I'm sorry I've had a tough day and I just wanted to get to my safe place, which is this. And the Warriors hopefully get back to being better, man, but... It's it's rough. They play the Clippers on Thursday, I'm pretty sure. Which is going to be an intriguing game. And then there will actually be not that much Warriors basketball for about a week because of the in-season tournament, which is great, to be quite honest with you, right? It's kind of actually beautiful <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> because we get to just kind of take a rest from this group and they'll have a time to rekindle. Hopefully they beat the... If they beat the Clippers, they're 9 and 10. They have a week to just get right, get healthy, and hopefully it's going to be start of something better. But we'll have to wait and see. And then we get to talk trades. And as always, be kind to and to others. Love yourselves as much as possible. Try to be as honest as possible with everyone. Uh, even if they're out to hurt you, it's not up to you, man. It doesn't matter. Just be yourself. Fuck what the others think. But be kind still, because that will help you grow your heart, man. And I know I'm kind of affluent here, but I need to do this for my, for my own sake. Love you all. Peace.